when I was growing up and I would hear the familiar little jingle from the ice cream truck coming down the street, I would run in, get some change from my mom or dad and run out to the street and wait for the ice cream truck to come. And I would always get a fudgesicle. They were my favorite because I love chocolate. So today I'm going to show you my new, a little bit more healthful version of fudgesicles, but just as delicious as the old-fashioned fudgesicles I used to eat when I was little. So to start with, you need something to pour your fudgesicle mixture in, either little, um, little popsicle forms that you can buy. I have some somewhere, I couldn't find them. So I'm using paper cups, and you can see that I put the paper cups into muffin tins, and that will help them stay standing when I put them in the freezer. The first thing I'm going to put in are really ripe bananas, two ripe bananas, and you can see the skins are really, really dark. And then I'm going to add eight Medjool dates, one can of coconut milk, and use the whole can. Then I'm going to put in half cup of cocoa powder and a quarter cup of creamy peanut butter. I like to use a natural peanut butter and also be sure that you use a salted peanut butter. Two teaspoons of vanilla, and then, if you want to eat these fudgesicles for breakfast, like I do, three tablespoons of hemp seeds. Once your mixture is nice and creamy and smooth, you can start pouring them into your fudgesicle forms. Mine are the paper cups today. And I'll just do a few here so that you can see. I pour some mixture in, and then I'm going to take a little bit of peanut butter and just dot it right on before I add the rest of my fudgesicle mixture. And then I would take a piece of aluminum foil and cover the cups, kind of seal it up nice and tight, just like that. And if you have popsicle sticks, that's great. I don't, so I'm using some plastic spoons and I'm just gonna make a little poke with a sharp knife in the top of each cup. And then I'm going to push a plastic spoon right through and the aluminum foil will keep it standing up in the freezer. So here's my little paper cup. Just find the seam, rip the paper away from your fudgesicle and there you've got your fudgesicle. Now on this one you can see I did put a little of my favorite granola at the top and ready to eat. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.